So I had a good question about deleting multiple edit points. So when you're in PowerPoint objects, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually convert this to a free form shape and then you can modify the shape. So you've got this square shape now. Now in PowerPoint, I'm in PowerPoint 2010, so there's it's really just a one step process. In other versions, you're actually going to have to click on the format option and then you'll see the edit shape and there will be something here that says uh, convert to free form and then once you convert it to free form uh, you'll have the edit points option and then you can just once you convert it to a free form you just right click and you can um, change the edit points and now you've got your edit points what's nice about the edit points you can change your shape if you've got a bezier tool you can um, add a curve different things like that to it uh, so the question was well what if how do I quickly delete uh, multiple edit points. So if we right click on this and select our edit points, you'll notice there's not like a simple way to click and drag and select multiple edit points. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to manually delete them. So you can just right click on the edit point and then uh, you can see there are a number of uh, features that you have and then one of them is delete point and that'll delete it. Uh, a faster way, now in a shape like this it's simple because you just have a few points. What if you have a circle? So let's go ahead and delete this. Let's um, take this oval here. Let's say you have an oval and we want to edit the points. Um, actually, the oval worked out fine. Let's let's do, let's find a shape that's got a lot of points to it. So like the thought cloud, for example. There's going to be a lot of uh, points to that. If you want to delete the points, you can add points by just clicking on the line, and then you can see it's easy to add points. If you want to delete it, all you have to do is hold the Control key down. And what it does is it changes to an X, which you can see here. When I click on it, it just deletes um, that. Now it's a, it's a little off here because of the screen casting, but you can kind of see how that works. So it's so it's a quick way to just go to the edit points, hold your control key down, and uh, hit hit the um, right click the mouse button or left click the mouse button, and then the points disappear. So uh, easy way to add and delete points, but there's not a way to batch delete um, the points that you have in your PowerPoint shapes.